Make that two consecutive W's for the Toronto Maple Leafs. They welcome in the Ottawa Senators for the first Battle of Ontario this season. And a lot of expectations with the Ottawa Senators. They're looking a lot better. They had, obviously, Claude Giroux, Alex Dabrinkit, some really good names to the roster. But the Toronto Maple Leafs take game one of the Battle of Ontario. 3-2 at Scotiabank Arena. And the Leafs are now 2-1 and one on the season. Before we head into this game, before we talk about this contest, we hear earlier today, Matt Murray leaves practice with an injury. And we're like, great, he's a game-time decision now. Then we see him on the LTIR, which is not pretty. He's out at least four weeks. Not a good start to the night for the Leafs. So that means Ilya Samsonov, yeah, not Samsonov apparently, it's Samsonov, is your guy. Whether you like it or not, that is your guy for now. Eric Shelgren gets the call up from the Marlies. And we head into this game. And in the first period... On the power play, Shane, Shane Pinto uh, finishes off a nice little give-and-go from him and Claude Giroux. And that was a power play goal at 9.09 of the first period. And that puts them in front 1-0. And that is how the first period ends. 1-0 Ottawa lead. Shots and goal in the first period with 13-11 in favor of the Leafs. But again, it felt really back and forth, back and forth. Really nobody any, grabbed any sort of momentum. And then we head to the second period. And there's no score. For the majority of the period, however, you could tell kind of in the last five minutes or so of the second, the Leafs really started to put some pressure on. They started to get some zone time. They started to get some shots on net. They were passing crisply, and they were finding their man. They were putting, getting shots through, making Forsberg make some saves. And then with 17 seconds to go, Cali Yarn, I think it was Muzzin to Cali Yarncruck, and then it goes back to Muzzin as he's at the point, and he floats down. And fires the puck on, but obviously not the score. And it's deflected in by David Camp. Oh, yeah, pitch that 10. We go in camping. And the Leafs have tied the game at one. Jake Muzzin and Callie Yarncrook tie, uh, get, get the assist on the goal at 1943 of the second period. 17 seconds to go. And the Buds have tied the game at one. All right, we got a new contest going into the third. Shots and goal in the second period. 11-7 to seven in favor of the Leafs. You can tell because of that onslaught late in that period. And in that third period, Leafs get a power play about midway through. And they do a really good job keeping the puck in at the point. And Tavares finds a way to get a download to Austin Matthews. And it's a weird, I don't want to just call it a two-on-one. but <coughs> Excuse me. Matthews is about the circle, right, like, along the boards when he gets the puck. Meanwhile, Willie Nylander is in front, like, right about, he's, he's higher than the slot, but he's kind of creeping down towards the slot. And Matthews gets the puck and makes a beeline towards the net, finds Willie Nylander, and whoo, baby, what a shot from William Nylander, my boy. And the Leafs, they have the lead with the power play goal. Matthews and Tavares grab assists in the goal at 13-24 of the third period. And the boys are in front. We're feeling pretty good. Just don't give it up right away, right? That's what we see that so often with this team. They get the lead. We're fired up. And then right away, it's gone again. Well, <laughs> a minute and a half later, less than that. Kojiru scores. It's a scramble in front. He finds the loose puck and buries it. And we're tied at two. However, with less than two minutes to play in regulation, Justin Hall comes down from the point, passes down to Marner, who's around the red line. Oh, no, was it Marner? I think, no, it was, it was Michael Bunting who was down there. And Bunting kind of just crashes to the net, backhands it on. It stopped initially. But you know what? I've given this guy a ton of garbage so often, as a lot of Lee fans have, and rightfully so. But Justin Hall, when he passes that puck down low to Bunting, he has every opportunity to spin around and go back to the point where he should be. However, he knows that there's someone covering him behind him. So he beelines it right for the front of the net. And that bunting backhander is stopped by Forsberg at first. But who's crashing the net? Justin Hall. He buries the rebound. And the Leafs have a 3-2 lead. Hall from Marner and bunting in 18.05. The buck 55 to play. The Leafs are back in front. 3-2. 
And that is how the story ends. The boys win the game one of the Battle of Ontario this year. The Ottawa Center is now 0-2 oh on the season. And the Leafs, after the abysmal start to game one of the season against the Montreal Canadiens, have now won back-to-back -back contests. So as much as I told you guys, you know, game one of the year, I might freak out, right? Or any game, I might freak out because if they don't play well, they don't play well. I'm going to let it out there. When they play well, got to let them know it. And the fellas, as much as for the first little bit of the game, it seemed kind of boring, kind of back and forth, back and forth. But they really took control in that third period. Now, yes, shots on goal were 10-8. And, you know, funny thing, right? The shots on goal stopped being meaningless. You outshoot the Sens, or you get outshot by the Sens in the third period, you win the period. You, get, you outshoot the Sens in the first, you lose the period. It doesn't mean anything. Shots on goal for the game, though, 32-28 in favor of the Leafs. And what that means is Ilya Samsonov was good yet again. I thought he was very good. Yeah, wouldn't you have loved him to kind of cover that puck on the Giroux goal? Yeah, he would have liked that. But again, we don't know where the puck is. What are you supposed to do, right? He stayed in the net. He didn't move. Someone cleared the guy out. Someone cleared the puck out. No one did. It is what it is. The Pinto goal, you can't blame him. It's a power play goal. It's right in the slot. It's a one-timer. It is what it is. And he made all the other saves he was supposed to make. Again, it's only been two games. But with Matt Murray now on the shelf, Ilya Samsonov knows, or sorry, Samsonov knows this is his net. Like, Shelgren's not going to come on, come in here and win the job. Samsonov, mm, Samsonov came here to be the backup to Matt Murray, or to be the 1B of Matt Murray, to kind of see what happens, right? Well, now Matt Murray out. It's your guy. He knows it. We know it. And he showed us tonight why he should be the number one goaltender of the Toronto Maple Two goals on 28 shots for Ilya Samsonov. And he was really good. His rebound control was good. He was scrambling around a little bit. Got helped by a post or two here. Uh, albeit Forsberg got helped by a couple posts as well. So it is what it is. I thought he was very good again. Now, will it continue? Hey, only time is going to tell. As I've told you guys so many times before, I'm just going to enjoy the game in the moment. And was Samson was mm, Samsonov good today? He was very good today. Was he good in his last start? He was very good in his last start. We move on. Right? It is what it is. Now, special teams-wise, both teams were one for two on their power plays. Again, their goal is from Pinto in the first period, and our goal is from William Nylander to start that third period to, to uh, give us the lead at that point. Two to one. All right. Next game for the Toronto Maple Leafs. They have an off day tomorrow on a Sunday before they kick back off on Monday night. It's a seven o'clock puck drop at Scotiabank Arena. They host Austin Matthews hometown Arizona Coyotes. And hopefully that doesn't mean squat. Hopefully the Arizona Coyotes can stay dog water so the, he doesn't leave us. Okay. Okay. Seven o'clock puck drop there as the Leafs continue, look to continue their winning ways after beating a divisional team in the Ottawa Senators and beating up on the Washington Capitals who beat the Montreal Canadiens tonight, look, the Leafs got to focus on themselves. One game at a time, right? Arizona on Monday at 7 o'clock. Right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed Hockey Night in Canada for the first time this year, smack the like button to appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you guys not already. Comment down below. Thoughts on the video, thoughts on the game. Would you like, would you not like from today's game for the Toronto Maple Leafs? The Twitter link is down below, so follow up there if you guys have not done so already. And I will talk to you guys. Well, it'll be a rap position at some point before Wednesday in the season preview edition. Obviously, game one is on Wednesday. So, you know, sometime before then, I'll be doing the season the Raptors season preview. All right. And as for the Toronto Maple Leafs, as we talked about Monday night, they are in action against the Arizona Coyotes at Scotiabank Arena. Not quite sure if I'll be able to get that video out to you guys, but again, I'll do my very best to do so. Might not be here, might be somewhere else, but I will do my very, very best. As they host the Arizona, Coy Arizona Coyotes at Scotiabank Arena at 7 o'clock. All right. So thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the game tonight. We'll talk to you guys then.